Hi, I'm Dan, and today I'm going to talk to you about Netflix's The Innocents, a new British show that they're putting out here. All eight episodes came out last Friday, August 24th. Um, I've just watched the pilot. I'm going to talk about the pilot. I'm going to talk about some of the trailers. Um, I'm going to try not to go on like crazy spoiler territory, but I mean, I'm going to spoil some things from the pilot, but if you've seen the trailer, basically you know everything anyway. But I just wanted to talk about this show because I think it's really interesting. I'm excited to watch more of it, and I just wanted to encourage other people to check it out with me. Let me know what you guys think as we watch it. I'm going to hopefully do a, like, series discussion uh, later in the week once I've seen all eight episodes, but that partially depends on how well this video does, so if you're interested, let me know. Um, basically, the premise here is you have two teenagers running away from troubled homes, um, and they're in love with each other, it's like a forbidden love thing, but amidst all that, there's supernatural happenings, and uh, you find out that the main character, June, has some sort of shape-shifting ability, and that she is in a whole group of other shapeshifters that are trying to capture her, and there's scientists going after them, and the whole thing is shrouded in mystery. Um, it's a very interesting show, very interesting premise. Um, I think when I first saw it, I thought of uh, End of the Fucking World, obviously another Netflix show, another British show, two teenagers running away, but this uh, definitely trades the humor of End of the Fucking World for sci-fi dreary intensity. Um, not to say that there isn't some lighter moments, but I definitely wouldn't call this a comedic show. Um, and it, it has a sort of uh, Orphan Black vibe, just creepy, mysterious organizations slowly revealing things about what's going on here. And, you know, it the, the whole the premise of the shape-shifting is shown in the trailer, and that's kind of where we end out the first episode, is having June shape-shift for the first time, not knowing how, not knowing, you know, why. And basically she shape-shifts into uh, a scientist who more seemingly a scientist's assistant or something, who is sent to capture her on her 16th birthday. So that's sort of the basic idea. I'll get into it in more detail. But it's a, it's an interesting show, and it's not going to be for everybody. I think um, it's clearly well done. They know it, you know, they know what kind of tone they want, and they stick it really well. It's creepy. It's melancholic. But then the actors, the two characters of June and Harry, these two um, lovebirds uh, have such endearing chemistry, they uh, they just sort of sparkle, especially when they're together. I think that they really capture the feeling of young love really quickly, and we don't even see how they fell in love, because all that, you know, this episode, this pilot starts with them prepping to run away together that night. Um, so they've already had their meet cute and all that stuff, and we're just seeing how cute they've become, um, and how they're going to start their lives together as they run away from these troubled families. Um, and I think that the two of them have a lot of personality together. I think June especially has, um, there's a part in, you know, middle of the episode where she's finally free from, uh, you know, they, she's finally on the run and, and she's happy and she's singing and she's screaming. And, uh, I think that that shows you that there can be moments of levity in a very dark, uh, sci-fi driven world. Um, it's going to be very slow paced for some people. I can already tell that just from the pilot. They're very slowly eking out information. There's a lot of characters. What exactly is going on? There's an organization over here that seems to have the shapeshifters. What are they doing? What are their goals? Are they good or they're bad? June's father, he seems oppressive and wants to control her and wants to take her away on her 16th birthday. He seemingly knows about the shapeshifting, maybe. Is he shifty? That's the question. Who's shifty, who's not shifty, both supernaturally and metaphorically? Um, so, yeah, it's kind of like, we don't know what his deal is. Then she has an agoraphobic brother, and why is he like that? And why does he not believe the father is their father? What happened to her mother? She disappeared. Meanwhile, Harry has this weird relationship where it seems like his dad has dementia and his mom just doesn't care or isn't involved. Um, that seems to be, to me, is like the biggest sticking point of confusion for me in this pilot because he, Harry clearly cares about his dad. His dad is clearly very ill and doesn't know where he is or what he's doing half the time and needs a caretaker. And is it appropriate or right that Harry is being stranded with this responsibility at his age? 
no, but also it is kind of hard to be on board with him abandoning his dad to run off with a girl, um, even though I like, maybe if I was younger, I'd agree with that more. <laughs> I don't know, but that I like, young love can only go so far. Um, meanwhile, with June, I'm like, okay, your father is like giving you sedatives and he is, you know, very controlling and controlling yourself and all that stuff. Um, but even she has these secrets where she's like, she's keeping the medicine even without her dad being in control of her. So there's, there's a sort of thing that's like, oh, what did, what has he told her? What has she internalized and believed just because her dad said so? Um, so there's a whole history strung throughout here. And it's, it's interesting, but you're going to have to be someone who's willing to wait through and, you know, have a kind of a slow pace as they eke out little bits of information. For me, it's working so far. Um, and honestly, the ultimate thing here is there's eight episodes, eight one or hour ish episodes. Um, so you're not going to have to wait too long to get a lot of answers. I don't know if there's going to be more seasons potentially, um, but certainly it seems like you're going to answer pretty quickly. And they're very upfront about these supernatural elements. Um, I would even say that in some ways it's like, yeah, they're eking out information slowly, but it also kind of moved faster than I thought it might. We go very quickly into the supernatural elements. Um, we don't really get to have Harry and June enjoy, you know, each other's company and they're running away for more than like a scene and a half before things are really going to shit. Um, that said, I think that their connection is great. I think Harry uh, internalizing uh, everything that happened and uh, when the scientist came was really well done. And then the, the pain that he fe felt there, I thought was great. Um, it's an exciting cliffhanger with her having her first transformation. Uh, and I'm excited to see more of the show. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, if you like, you know, young adult romance, supernatural stuff, um, it's not the American style of that, it, but it is probably still for you. It's, you know, when I say those words and you're divorced from seeing the cinematography and the music and the score and the acting, it, you, you know, you come away thinking like, oh, it's, it's Vampire Diaries, it's Teen Wolf, something like that. And not to say that those shows don't have their positives, um, but I know a lot of people would be sort of dismissive of shows like that. This is not that. This is the British eight episode season version of that. That is, it is, yes, it is teen romance. Yes, it is supernatural, but it is beautiful cinematography, beautiful landscapes, um, really understated acting, really just beautiful melodic music, uh, great score. Um, they take it seriously. They take it as an art form and it's not just a uh, fluff, even though it has fun escapist elements for sure. Um, so if, any of that sounds good to you. If Again, if you think something like Orphan Black is exciting, uh, I definitely recommend the show. Let me know what you thought of the pilot. Did it suck you in? Was it good enough to make you want to keep watching more? Um, and if you check it out because of my video, let me know and let me know what you thought. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel at youtube.com slash doing okay. And I'll see you next time.